Hi, and welcome to another first grade flip classroom. In today's flip classroom, we are going to talk about the words before, after, and in between. I know a lot of you are already familiar with these words and use them in your vocabulary, but today we're going to talk about them and how they relate to math. Let's take a look at the word before. On this slide, I have a chart of the days of the week. If you look, I'm looking at Tuesday. If I want to know what day comes before Tuesday, I have to look in front of Tuesday or ahead of Tuesday, and I can see that Monday would be the day that comes before Tuesday. Let's take a look at Friday. Turn and tell someone what day would come before Friday. Hopefully you said Thursday. Thursday would come before Friday because it comes ahead or in front of Friday. Now let's take a look at the word after. On the screen I have a, a sample chart of how your day might look in first grade. You might ha start the day with calendar, then reading, then lunch, recess, art, and math. When I'm talking about the word after, I want to know what comes after you do a certain subject or behind. So if you look at lunch, what would come after lunch? Recess would be after lunch because after you're done lunch, you would head to recess. Let's take a look at art. Turn and tell someone what would happen after you're done art. Where would you go next? Math would come after art. Now let's look at the word between. When I'm talking about between, I'm talking about something that comes in the middle of two numbers, animals, times of the day. In this slide, I have some different zoo animals. If you look at the monkey that the arrow is pointing to, I would say that the monkey is between the elephant and the cheetah because it is right in the middle of them. Can you tell me what the lion is between? The lion is between the rhino and the meerkat. If you didn't know that animal, that's okay. That's a tricky one. When I talk about something being between, I'm talking about something that comes in the middle. Let's use those words we just talked about for this group of numbers. Right now, the arrow is pointing to 32. I could say that 32 comes before the number 33 because it is in front of or ahead of the number 33. I could also say that 32 comes after 31 because it is behind 31. I could also say that 32 is in between the numbers 31 and 33 because it is in the middle of those two numbers. Let's look at number 34. What number is 34 before? 34 is before 35. What number is 34 after? 34 is after 33. What number would 34 be between? 34 is between 33 and 35. I'd like you to look at this group of numbers and notice that I left a blank. I would like you to find the missing number and write that number on your homework sheet. I am looking for the number that comes before 16 or after 14 or between 14 and 16. Write it down. 
This is the end of this Flip Classroom video. If you'd like to go back and watch it again, go ahead. If not, we'll talk about this tomorrow in class. See you then!